Now, Azimio leader Raila Odinga has held a meeting with visiting U.S. Senator Chris Coons ahead of the resumption of talks by the National Dialogue Committee tomorrow. Though details of the talks are scanty, sources close to Odinga say the talks centered on the ongoing talks on the Azimio agenda that has been tabled by its representatives. Coons was in the country late March this year when he heard when he held talks with President William Ruto and Deputy President Rugavi Gashagwa, retired President Uhuru Kenyatta, and also Azimio leader Raila Odinga, which handlers say focused on development and the upholding of the rule of law. We begin our broadcast with our very own Jem Tai Goin. Pictures shared on social media platforms confirm the Delaware Senator's closed door meeting with Azimio leader Raila Odinga in Kisumu County. Raila confirming on his Facebook page of the meeting which comes ahead of the government and opposition talks aimed at ending weeks of demonstrations and mayhem. Sources saying the highlight of the talks was the ongoing dialogue between Kenya Kwanzaa and Azimio. The opposition leader kept him abreast over issues they had tabled before the committee, including the lowering of the high cost of living, an audit of the 2022 election results, reconstitution of the polls body IEBC, interference in the affairs of political parties, and outstanding constitutional matters such as the boundaries delimitation. <laughs> Odinga is also said to have taken issue with incidents of police brutality witnessed during the opposition-sanctioned mass protests where deaths and injuries from police were reported. The opposition has already written to the ICC over the matter. It is also not clear when Senator Coons, a known close ally of President Joe Biden, will meet President William Ruto as some handlers of the president reached out to buy Citizen TV, remained unresponsive. This as the Kenya Kwanzaa and Azimio teams to the Dialogue Committee resumes the talks at the Bombers of Kenya from 11 a.m. Monday. Prior to the meeting by the 10-member team, the technical committee appointed by both groups will hold a preliminary meeting which is set to lay the ground for the talks. Sources say Azimio had intended to rope in members of the diplomatic corps and religious leaders to the talks, but Kenya Kwanzaa called for a postponement of their inclusion until teething issues are addressed. The dialogue team is set to set timelines for the talks and which agenda will form the priority of the talks with both sides maintaining that political goodwill will be crucial in dealing with the issues at hand. The Azimio Technical Committee unveiled earlier in the week comprises Jubilee Secretary General Jeremiah Kioni, Adam Zolo, Zaina Bubaka and Lynn Gugi, while Kenya Kwanza has enlisted lawyer Mudomidian Kolu, Linda Musumba, Nick Biketi and Dan Kano Juang. And even as Kenyans await the outcome of the talks, government officials led by Deputy President Gadi Gashagwa and Interior Cabinet Secretary Professor Kithure Kindiki, who spoke in separate functions, remained adamant that there will be no power-sharing agreement. <laughs> Watu ya upinzani na watu ya eh, serikali wakitaka kuongea mambo ya siasa ni sawa on one condition hiyo mazungumzo isipofaulu kusiwe mtu atatishia watu watu tena ati kwa sababu yale mazungumzo atujazikizana ati sasa tunarudi kuumiza raia August last year, ahead of the elections, Senator Chris Coons visited the country calling for a peaceful process. He visited again in March at the height of the anti-government protests where he held talks with the political leaders. His visit now, leaving many unanswered questions over whether he is there to broker truce or initiate a power-sharing agreement. Chemutai Goin, Citizen TV.